doing it or not doing it, then <laughs> last night was great. Good job. I mean, we we, we got hugely positive feedback. From the ski Hanging in there. Yeah. 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 Give it some mess. It was pretty fun last night. Uh, the annual Lodi is 16. The kimchi bowl, let's do 24. Oh, Freestone, grapefruit, extra pale ale. Um, Freestones are like number one seller. Um, it's our kind of uh, flagship, original flagship pale ale. Um, this version of it has grapefruit in it. Uh, so we actually use grapefruit peel, tangerine peel, and sweet orange peel. Um, and then age the base beer on that for a few days and then package it. So it's got a nice like springy sort of um, citrusy sort of vibe to it. Uh, super easy to drink. It's pretty much like what I go for for like in the summertime. Well, I had to find this guy in Texas who does these, uh -huh. and uh, we got it shipped here. But you don't really find too many wood fire grills in the valley anymore. Sourcing the wood from the orchards in Peonia, so like the apple and peach, uh, and then this guy Tiggy Wood, uh, Tiggy Eats, lives up in Aspen area. He uh, helped help get us some oak from like job clearing that he does, and so we'll mix in oak with the fruit wood, and it's like pretty unique blend. Like cooking with fire, how fun is that? It's amazing. <laughs> Tonight we're doing a beer dinner with Allie and Chase of Roaring Fork Beer Company in Carbondale. Really excited. First course I think we're gonna do uh, like a spring charcuterie board. We did a smoked ham hock pate and croup. We have some buffalo burrata. And that's gonna go with the grapefruit. And the nice little fun thing on that is uh, we made great grapefruit granita from this grapefruit that was grown in Arizona orchards that gets driven up to Paonia oh, wow. and then gets, so it's, it's like, it's like the best it tastes grape. like the sun, yeah, it's like, you think of the sun, course two, spring, Easter, we did rabbit annulodi, I got some uh, beautiful rabbits from, oh, yeah, where do you get, where do you Rock Bottom rabbits? Ranch, uh, J Jason Smith, who's done unbelievable things over there. It's my favorite. I, like, as a butcher too, I wish people ate more rabbit in this country because it's the most sustainable, you know, it's not like the problems they have with the, the chicken lots and the beef lots. It's delicious. It's like really one of my favorite things. Like, you take, what well, you know, like the thigh and, and you grill that with salt and pepper and lime juice. It's amazing. Joy Choy. Joy Choy is really cool. It's this miniature bok choy leaf that's actually sweeter than it is bitter. So um, that lends a, nice, a lot of flavor. Doing that with the grisette, which is like it's such a well balanced beer. I think it'll be a nice pasta course drinker. Putting a bowl together. We made our own kimchi here. And um, I just said, let's do a kimchi rice bowl and just put a bunch of stuff that. We enjoy from around here. So we got local chicken that we beer can smoked on the smoker out back. Um, we did a tiramisu with the milk stout. We infused the milk stout with Rock Canyon, Canyon Coffee, their espresso blend. Craig and Heidi, they're wonderful people, make amazing coffees. Um, just a really delicious way to finish off. Uh, you can follow me on Open Fire Cater. Yeah, it's 
the best. Yeah. <laughs> Pork pot dumplings. I say them, but on the menu, I think they're called popsicles. Nice. Yeah. Solid pound. A house made so like a house made gnocchi, beets, spinach, kale, chili oil. It's pretty freaking good. I don't like this guy. The guy's a good guy. This guy's got it going on. This rabbit is amazing. You should come here and try it. Tonight was amazing. Flip is a master. Patrick is. The two of them together are as good as it gets to be good Danny Lucky. This is the first beer dinner we've ever done. We've done wine dinners, and Steve being the wine guy, that's the norm for us where our comfort zone is, so this was a little bit, I wouldn't say outside of our comfort zone, but it was a first and definitely like we're hoping to do it more. Tonight was super fun. Tonight was a, our first collaboration with a brewery. It was a brewery that we love. We do a ton of business with Roaring Fork Beer Company, good local guys, good collaboration. I thought the pairings were awesome. We made a lot of people happy. It was all good.